We've been here on Isabella Island in Puerto Villamil now for two weeks. Not one. Not one, but two, two weeks. weeks. And as we've been making our video and putting this together, uh, we've noticed that there's one term that is very popular in this episode. Zarpe. Zarpe, which is the singular of zapar, which means to set sail. So a zarpe is the document you need to exit a port, which is very important. However, in this video, it's important for one reason. Every time you hear the word zarpe, take your favorite beverage and do a shot. Zarpe. Cheers. Enjoy. And what are we doing? What are we doing today? We are getting our exit zarpe. Baby garbage bags. Baby garbage bags. Because Carla's thinking about getting some babies and throwing them away because she does not like babies. So that I can hang Carla in a bosun's chair off the bow and she can tell me what the depth is since our Ray Marine instruments don't work. So we've been waiting. And waiting, waiting. waiting. just took a water taxi in and we're walking in to town again our last walk into Puerto Villa Mil that we know of and what are we doing what are we doing today we are getting our exit zarpe so uh, we can go to Santa Cruz because believe it or not we've been here for two not one two, two. weeks Anybody coming to the Galapagos, we recommend at least six weeks to see it all leisurely and enjoy it. Two Anything months. less than that's just too fast. Yeah, two months. So now as we're walking, the biggest question we have is what, Carla? Because we're going to get our zarpe. What's our big question for today? What is the one thing we haven't decided today? Where we're gonna have lunch? Exactly. Oh, oh my God, there's so many choices. So that's okay. So we'll, uh, I don't know what we'll do. We need to get a nine volt battery. Nine volt battery. See? Maybe some baby garbage bags. Baby garbage bags. Because Carla's thinking about getting some babies and throwing them away because she does not like babies. So there aren't many dogs in the Galapagos, but this little guy we really like. He's just kind of chilling, kind of owns the town because he's so huge and fierce. So Carla's been watching the clock here. It's only 12.15. We're trying to kill time. Why are we trying to kill time again? Because our zarpe is ready. But we're at Al Cafetal here in Villa Mil, and it's not all empanadas and cervezas. Wonderful restaurant, having a little garlic toast appetizer with a really nice vino blanc here on a perfect day in Puerto Villa Mil. Oh, and here comes my soup and Carla's sandwich. Still, still killing time here at El Cafetal. Salute. Update us on our zarpe. Uh, the zarpe won't be ready. The Capitan de Deportes office doesn't have internet today. So it's delayed until five o'clock. So they're going to bring it to the boat this evening. Hola. So we're going to go find a battery. For nine our... volt battery for our uh, depth sounder that's portable so that I can hang Carla in a bosun's chair off the bow and she can tell me what the depth is since our Ray Marine instruments don't work. So where are we going Carla after dinner, lunch? A little tiend up here to try to find the battery. Uh -huh. Oh, the goodies. Oh, she's moving in. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Let's see. Oh, gotcha. 
I got that on video, Mr. Leap. <gasps> here come the cats. Dean says, wait a minute, it's all closed up in here. What's going on? <sighs> Somebody blew up your butt. I don't think I'm going to put that online. His favorite game. Okay, a little boat over there. We hope he's coming to us because he's not. He's not coming to us. What are we waiting at here for, Carla? Which is late because they didn't have internet at the port captain's offices. So we've been waiting and waiting. Waiting. Morning. So we're up bright and early this morning, uh, six o'clock alarm. We are heading over to Port Aora and we're waiting for our Zarpe to be delivered this morning. Uh, should be here any minute by water taxi and then we'll be able to pull the hook and head over. Right, Dean? Hey. Yeah, you don't look very happy. Dean got out of bed early this morning. He's not a happy camper. And we're waiting for our Zarpe. And here he comes. Here comes the whole crew. I better put my mask on. Our agent brought over immigration, the port captain, and the health officials to clear us to move to Santa Cruz. After a temperature check and a walkthrough below with the port captain, we receive our clearance and our internal Zarpe. We found out from our agent the delay in the Zarpe was due to a change in the COVID procedures when leaving Isabella Island. Health checks were implemented for departing vessels to assist in reducing the risk of COVID transmission. The checkout was seamless and quick, and the crew jumps back onto the water taxi, and Gargoyle's crew gets ready to depart. Got a lot of seaweed on the chain, so I'm going to do a slow pull up and try to get most of it up and off so that we don't have it in the chain locker. Roger that. Uh, do you need me to pull the boat forward while you are pulling chain? Uh, nope, that's fine. Um, there's no hardly any wind or drift here, so I can just pull it up as windless. As you can see, it's very shallow here. You can see the bottom in some spots and no fishy swimming by. Carla on the anchor up front. And she's gonna pull it up. That's a crud on our anchor. Okay, bring it up. Okay, stop. It's a little bit delayed because our Zarpa didn't get delivered until 8.30. But um, we are leaving port Via Mil. Farewell to Estrella, our Anchorage buddy, and to our favorite little town. This has been a great stay. So we're just going to go on the other side of this uh, marker, and then you can kind of see the red marker and the green marker for the passage on the way out. Our second anchorage in the Galapagos Islands was off of Isabella Island in Porto Villamil. A fantastic anchorage. When you come in, follow your navigational buoys. Make sure you've got your chart software in front of you or you know the chart and have someone watching for marks. Uh, very small anchorage surrounded by rocks. Once you're in, you're in. Fantastic holding, good sand bottom and about 10 to 15 feet of water. Be aware that you will get some surge that will bounce in, uh, reflected, if you will, off of the shoreline. Uh, you'll also have quite a few rocks around you, so that can be a bit unnerving at first, but again, with the good holding, you'll be fine. Uh, the pier and the ride with the water taxi, the Taxi Aquatico, uh, can be a bit long. When it's low tide, the rocks are exposed and they can't make a direct line to the boat, so they have to go around the periphery of the bay to get to you to pick you up. So expect a 5 to 15 minute wait, uh, but again, they will respond quickly to you. Uh, other than that, no, no other comments other than two thumbs up to Isabella Island and Porto Villamil. So it's a gorgeous morning. We're just pulling out of Porto Villamil. Uh, the fishing fleet has been going out. Carla's just getting ready to set our main uh, and getting everything ready. She's going to have to go up to the mast, I think. She needs to check the, uh, uh, the furling lock to make sure we're not locked in. Uh, once we unlock it, then we will unfurl the sail, then we go back up and we set the lock. That way we can pull sail in, uh, but it won't come back out. Uh, so one of the things on furling main that you uh, need to be aware of if you have this type of, uh, of a furler for in-mast furling, 
Uh, you hear a lot of complaints about in-mass furling. We actually love it, uh, but you do need to know how to use it and keep it well maintained. We have 45 nautical miles to get to Santa Cruz, which should be an easy day sail. The forecasted winds were 15 knots on our stern. However, as the day progressed, the winds decreased and we had to motor the remainder of the trip. Fighting a one to two knot current and an overheating engine extended our trip to 11 hours instead of our estimated eight. All is well, we have 27 nautical miles to go. We have half decent winds. And unfortunately, we're fighting a ton of current. So we're not gonna arrive into our anchorage until after dark. Is that a bad thing? Nah, we'll make it. Very calm seas today. Wish we were there sooner before it got dark. But we can't really video it because you won't be able to see it because it'll be dark. It'll be dark. That's right. So it's been a really long day on Gargoyle. Uh, we left port about 8.45, a late start due to a delay with the port captain. Uh, and now it looks like we're not going to be dropping the anchor until about 8 p.m. tonight. So we're going to line up and come in in the dark uh, and hopefully dodge all of the rocks and the anchored ships that are there. So I'm not looking forward to it, but stay tuned. I can't see on the display, but I don't think we can even see the lights of Port Aora. I thought I would show you the lights at least because it is pitch black, very overcast. We're late coming in and we've got to maneuver this little harbor in the dark and find an anchorage. Um, and we really don't have a choice. So here we go. Maybe this will come out. After slowly pulling into the bay, we maneuvered through the yachts to get in as far as we could to avoid the swell. Heavy air was assisting on shore using AIS to direct us through to our final anchor spot. With the anchor down, it's now time for a cocktail. The next morning, we finally meet our agent, Javier, who's been coordinating with us since we started planning to sail to the Galapagos. With the changes in the checkout in Isabella, Javier will complete the check-in at Santa Cruz for us and we will not have an official visit on Gargoyle. After a quick visit to get the information on the island, Javier departs and we get organized to set our stern anchor to assist with the swell in Academy Bay. We're in really tight quarters here at uh, Santa Cruz. We have a boat there, there's a boat there, there's a big catamaran there, there's a big catamaran here. Uh, so Kevin's going to put the stern anchor together. I am. And then it we're going to throw uh, it out. We should have had this together before. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh well. His wife did mention it when we were at Isabella, but we didn't put it together then, so we're putting it together now. She did. We have arrived safely in Santa Cruz and we definitely do not recommend coming into this anchorage at night. Uh, no, definitely not. <laughs> but now that our nerves are calmed down, we're going to take some time and start to explore the island. Yep. So until next week, Zarpe. Okay. Thanks for watching. Woo, baby. Giddy up. More footage. See? Get it? Footage. Haha, <laughs> footage. Since she was little, Carla would follow the garbage truck. I don't know what it is, but her dad told me about it, told me to watch out for it. Put the little children that have golf clubs for legs. Golf club children. <laughs> She's been on this boat for far too long, folks. That's a sexy ass, I see. Did not catch that. At least we're not befungled right now. Befungled? Befungled. No, we are not befungled. No, no, I got you zoomed in, baby. Is there anything between my teeth? Uh, let me see. 